So we are in section five. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the uh, customer list import uh, for this. And so what we want to do is we want to import our customers or clients. There's different ways you can call um, you know, the people you, that you sell your products or services to. In QuickBooks, we can actually change the name of what we call uh, these uh, customers or clients. Here, if we go into account and settings, and uh, we we'll go to the bottom left here, advanced, all the way to the bottom, under other preferences, and we see here we can actually change our customer label to clients, customers, donors, guests, whatever we want to do that. Uh, in this, in 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 this case study, we're going to call them clients, uh, but there is some information as you go through the uh, student handbook where customer might come up. They might call them customers or customer list or, you know, so customers, clients are interchangeable. We're going to use them uh, the same. So, so that's, uh, so don't get caught up on the, the name of what, what we're calling our customers or clients here. Okay. So first what we need to do is we have just a little teeny list that we're going to import in. Um, and so we can do this uh, manually. We can enter it manually as well. And I'll show you real quick how to do both. So let's actually go. So to, so to import the, the customer <coughs> client list, we're going to go to our gearbox here on the top right. We're going to go into import data. Here's our clients right there. There's clients there. We're going to click on that. And then we need a CSV file, right, that, that we're going to import. The CSV file is going to be found out on Canvas in modules. So it's going to be for section five. Here it is right here, uh, TAD Gaming Customer List. So that's the one you're going to want to use. Okay. So we can click on it here. It'll open up like this. We want to click on this top link. I'm using the, the Google, Google Chrome browser. Uh, once I click on it, it's going to down, download. I can see it down there at the bottom left. Uh, I'm going to want to go back to QuickBooks and browse. Okay, so it's in the download file. I see it here, so under my downloads. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select that customer list CSV. And there it, it queues up right there. So I can click next down on the bottom right. I'm gonna make sure everything's set. One thing I wanna do, this, this is really important, uh, is I want to click on opening balance and say no match. So I don't wanna import the opening balances. Uh, it is possible to do this when you have clients, um, even vendors, anything. If you're bringing in existing accounting information into a new like QuickBooks company, you're going to have some balances that you may want to. Okay, so yeah, so make sure to uh, select no match for opening balance because we don't want to uh, bring in the opening balance for these. We're going to start from scratch. Okay, and so then we're going to click next. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import. So yours, if you haven't imported yours before, it'll it'll look just like this. It won't be red. I've actually done the import previously um, just to work out some kinks. But yours should not have the red. If it has red, that means you have existing customers that match up with these in your system. But if yours are just black, go ahead and hit import, and it'll import it. So under sales or clients and leads, go ahead and click on clients there, and this will be what it'll look like once that we're imported. We can change the columns in here of what we see by going over to this gear box on the right and just selecting um, different items, we address, phone, email, and we'll have it all listed there. So it'll look like the one in the student handbook uh, for the most part. So there we go. And now we're ready to do invoices and uh, collect payments. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.